we got camper glass. We're gonna fit it to the van. Yeah, I want some more petrol cars, that's what I'm saying. But, um, yeah, using this method, super easy. Before I drill any firm more holes, just want to make sure it's in the right place. <laughs> well, these are just guide holes, just to guide when I mark it on the outside. So what I'm also going to do is drill a hole each side of these. That way I ensure I get a nice straight line when I'm masking it up. Where's the ridge? There. And then that way. That ensures that my XOR blade will go through that gap. Actually, I might even bend these bits out. Let's see. I'll see if I can find a pair of pliers. I drill from the inside out it's left these little burrs coming out and what happens is if, if you try and use a jigsaw and go over those burrs it can catch up on them so it's always a good idea to take those burrs off before you go to work or before you go to town with your jigsaw just makes it roll a lot smoother so I can run my hands over that now look, and there's no burrs without any fear of cutting my hands oh there's a little one there that's all it is Take a look at that, it's just a little pointy thing and it just takes the burrs off so that the rollers on the jigsaw can go smoothly over. Because as you know, I like to remove the foot of the jigsaw when I use it on metal. It makes it a lot more controllable. We'll show you that in a minute. <sighs> Got those iron filings. Good job I used masking tape, isn't it? Look, you see? One big hole there, one big hole there for the jigsaw to fit in. And cut that slot. So whenever contemplating cutting a hole in your beloved camper van, whether it be on the roof or in a door like I'm doing right now, I always take the foot off of my jigsaw. There's no need to have that foot on there. This roller that supports the blade is all you need. And by doing that, if there's any undulations, especially in the roof, it's very easy to negotiate and it's very easy to get around corners as well. Take the foot off. Best way to use a jigsaw when cutting holes in any van. Now as a pro tip, tape this up now to stop it flapping. Yeah. So now we've cut the hole out, I'm going to treat the bare metal edges with red oxide primer using a little bit of cotton bud. 
There you go. Nice and simple. That's all we've got to do. Have it on. I think we get lucky with the weather today. Brilliant. Look how easy that goes on. Make sure you get it in the corners. Notice I put the join at the top. So try and put your joins at the top. That way it's not in your line of sight when you're inside the band looking out. And here it is. The pole. It's a nice bit of glass there. This is a guide. The reason we need to do this is because I have to put primer on the glass and on here. So we want the primer to marry up with the primer on, on, the, on here to marry up with the primer on the glass. So I'm putting that strip, I mean along here is pretty obvious. And along here, it's pretty obvious as well where the prime is going to go. It's just these two edges are getting it in enough for the mastic or the glass sealer to go. So this is just a guide. Like that. So before we put any prime on it, we use this little tiny cleaning wipe make sure any oil from my skin hasn't gone onto the panel. It's just an alcohol white. This masking tape will stay on now. This I'll take off once I put the primer on. Here's our primer. Dog of that in there. Then we want to go down there like this. About, I reckon, an inch in from there. Like I say, usually I would put the adhesive actually on the glass, but because there's not a lot of room, masking tape on the glass, and I've got masking tape on here, I know I need to put some of this. We warm this up first. Yeah, makes a huge difference. Yeah, 
Start getting tingly. Just take a little rest. And that's all I've got to say about that. 